I am going to tell you about the time. I am going to tell you the time about. <laughs> I am going. <laughs> I am going to tell you about the time I beat a bitch in the bathroom at the club. Girl, this was crazy. Hey guys, what's up? It is Avalisa, Avalisa, however you want to say it. One of the segments that I wanted to start was a drunk story time. Um, <laughs> so I have had probably two shots of rum chata and a very full glass of wine. Um, I have let enough time pass to where I, I feel it. And now I have another one. Before we get started, I need you to subscribe. I need you to go somewhere in this region and click the button and make it turn red or make it turn like pink, I think, when you press it and you're subscribed. But press it and subscribe. I'm making videos regularly at this point. I know I'm slurring, I'm sorry, but this is the point of the video. Um, yeah, subscribe, hit notifications so you know when my new videos come out so you can watch them before anybody else. Um, and also tell other people to subscribe if you want to follow me on social media. Bam, there it is. Um, but if you don't, you don't have to. You don't have to subscribe. You can just watch the video. You're allowed to do what you want to do. And I'm allowed to do what I want to do. Oh no. Whatever. Let's go. I really want to keep my eyes open, but these lights are really bright. To the story time. So, wind back some years in the past. I was at the club. And I was having a really good time. Now at this club, I I had some sort of reputation to where, you know, didn't have to pay when I walked through the door, didn't really have to wait in lines. But, you know, even though life was like super cushy for me like that, I'm always looking out for other people. Okay, so the bathroom. There's the big stall and there's the tiny stalls. Sometimes you go into the tiny stalls because you're about to pee yourself. Other times you want to go into the big stall because you got a lot going on and you need the room or you and three of your friends are rushing to the bathroom and you all want to take turns and be in and out very quickly or maybe you're doing something else because I'm not judging you. I don't think we were waiting together for the big stall but we, I, I was waiting for the big stall and I'm sitting there and I'm seeing people go in and out and I'm telling people, oh no, I'm not in line or whatever and I'm letting people pass me as I'm waiting for the big stall and nobody comes out of the big stall. And so I go in the bathroom, I pee, I come out and the big stall is still closed and everybody's like, oh no, nobody's been in there. And so like at this point, I'm like, what is going on? what's going on who is in there and so the stall beside the big stall opens up and I go in there and I stand up on the toilet in heels because I'm I'm agile <laughs> quit laughing and I look over and there is someone laying on the floor asleep so I see this sleep girl and at this point I'm probably about as drunk as I am now and so my response is I need to help her out and I can't get in the bathroom because the door is locked and so in my mind it makes the most sense and like okay roll it back her friend is standing outside of the bathroom and she's the one every letting everybody know oh my friend's in there how long has your friend been in there and uh, she's been in there like 30 minutes bitch there's a problem like go rescue your friend because something isn't right and so that's what made me go in the stall beside to see if she was okay. And so I look over the stall and she's there laid out on the floor, on the bathroom floor in a club, like passed the out. Like that's not okay. Uh, Siri, mind your business. I feel like I'm yelling. I full on climb and these are like high, high stalls. So they're isn't a lot of clearance and I don't know how I got up there I, I don't know how I got down but whatever 
I slid through that hole like a super spy and just dropped down on the ground in heels because I know I was wearing heels. And I was like, hey girl. And then I unlocked the door and her friend was in there and we were like, girl, get out, get out. And she, mm, 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 no, and I was like, girl, get up. And she was like, no, and like her friend is standing back as I'm like, you know, trying to shake her awake. and. Now that I'm not in that moment, I feel like I should have just let her friend take the wheel. But obviously her friend knew what the was up and that's why she didn't want to do So I'm like shaking the girl on the floor and then she finally wakes up enough to be like, I'm trying to help my friend. And that's where I lost it. And I was like, girl, who the are you helping passed out on the bathroom floor? And then the bitch comes awake. She has no words for me. She has nothing for me. Only thing she has is a ton of crazy. So mama peeks open one eye at me. Excuse me, whatever, it's a body, things happen. So she looks up at me, she sees me out of her one eye and immediately starts swinging. And I was like, oh my God, what's happening? But I reacted very quickly. So I grab her head, she comes up at me swinging. I grab her head and I push her over to the side to get her out of the way. Cause the bitch is swinging at me at this point and I'm not trying to like fight her. I just want her not to hit me. And so I grab her and I push her out of the way. And like, she reaches her arm across and like, you know, bitch is trying to, she trying to thump and I'm like whoa I'm not ready for all of this and so like I back up and then grab her by her back I think yeah so I grabbed her by her back and at this time fly or, or fight has come in and like I am no longer thinking this is a poor drunk woman in the bathroom I'm I am now thinking at this point this bitch is trying to f me up and I need to take her down before she takes me down and so like I push her over and then she bounces back and starts coming at me again and then I pop her in her face twice and I take her by her head and I push her down out of the way I did not realize that we were in a bathroom and there was a toilet right in the direction where I was pushing her head but somehow something of hers I'm pretty sure it was her head but something went into like the back part where you open it up and there's all the water, the the bucket, the drain. I don't know, I'ma look it up and I'ma put it right here. This what it's called, but I threw her head into that and she fell on it so hard, she broke that bitch in half. And then she like, <laughs> she like crumbled down to the floor. And like, I was like, bitch, I was trying to help you. I was trying to help you not go to jail. But you know what, it's over now. And by this time, security has come in because the door is wide open. Everybody can see what's going down. And none of my friends were there. Usually you got friends there that are like, bitch, no. And like, they stop you from doing crazy things like that. But my friends were just standing back, watching me whoop on this bitch in the bathroom stall. And so like she hits the toilet and she rolls over and I tell her that I was just trying to help her. And then security finally comes in and they're like, what happened? I was like, this bitch tried to fight me because she's drunk and she was passed out on the floor. And because of the situation I was in, you know, being somewhat known in the area, it wasn't like, you got to go bitch because you was fighting. We called the police on you. They were like, go upstairs, take a breath, go somewhere, take, smoke a cigarette, and like cool down. We, we taking this bitch out. And apparently they called the police on her and maybe she went to jail. I don't know what happened. But obviously her friend didn't give a f about her. So yeah, it's f***ed up. These are gonna be happening somewhat frequently as much as my liver can handle it because I can't just get drunk all the time. Um, so yes, I'm going to be doing story times pretty regularly. I'll have somebody with me to keep me alive. Um, but this is one of the new videos that I'm going to have on my channel. So if you want to see it, comment below and like it and show me that you love it. Um, and again, subscribe because, you know, the more subscribers I have, the more opportunities I get and the more I can do for you guys. You.
I see you watching this video. Hold on. Y'all don't know how serious I am. I see you watching this video. I know you're watching. Have you subscribed? Click it. Click it. You playing games with me. Click it. I'll wait. Did you click the notification bell too? Go ahead. Click the notification bell. Thank you. I appreciate you. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being on this journey with me. And until next time. She don't give a about me. Oh, why don't you care about me? Why don't you care? Uh, uh.